Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm revealing what I made for the So Frugal 22 challenge. So let's get into it. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Laura and I'm the Carpe Diem Stitcher. So a little while ago I did a video um, setting out what I thought my options were for the So Frugal 22 challenge which is run by Sam um, at Frugalissima on Instagram and Frugalissima here on YouTube and Ruan who's at the Yorkshire Sew so Girl and also has um, the Yorkshire Sew so Girl channel on YouTube. And I set out various options and I asked um, my viewers what they thought I should make. And um, a lot of you came back and said that you thought I should use um, this fabric, um, which I'm actually wearing. And it's probably easier. I've got some of the fabric here that I can hold up to the camera so you can see it a little bit better. Um, so this is a cotton jersey um, with a little bit of spandex in it, which I got from... Um, Girl Charlie, which is no longer trading in the UK, and you can see it's this hot pink with um, old-fashioned telephones on it, and the telephones have got cats' faces on. Um, and a lot of you said, oh, that's really nice fabric, you should definitely do something in that. And it's funny, I now I've made something with it, I don't know why I didn't before, because I'd kind of fallen out of love with the fabric and thinking, I'd even thought about de it, and I'm so glad I didn't. So what did I actually make? Well, in the end, I decided to make the um, Uvita top from Itch to Stitch, um, which is a free pattern. And I already had it. And in fact, I already had it printed out on A0. So for me, this was really frugal because it meant I didn't have to send off and get anything additional printed. Um, and so that's what I chose to make. So I'll pop a picture up here of me actually wearing it so you can see where it comes down to. You'll see it comes just down to on my hip. Um, and I really like it. I think it, it went together really easily. Um, it might be partly because I'm getting a bit quicker at sewing things on my overlocker. Um, but I found in terms of actual mate time, it wasn't that bad at all. If I'd done it all at the same time it certainly would have been maybe a long afternoon something like that but I kind of did it in bits over the course of the week so um, in terms of the UV to top in terms of sizing um, it goes from a size double zero which is for a bust 31 and an eighth inch uh, waist 25 and three quarter inches and hip 33 and an eighth sorry I'm looking down because uh, I've got my iPad here with the details. And it goes up to a size 20, which is a bust 46 and a quarter, uh, 40 and a half waist, um, and hip 48 and a quarter inches. Um, so in terms of sizing for me, um, I made the size 4 on the bust, which is a 35 and a quarter inch, um, to fit a size 35 and a quarter inch bust. Uh, and then I graded out to um, the size 6 on the waist, which is for waist um, 30 and 7 eighths inches. And then I went out to the size 8 at the hip, um, which comes out at about um, 40 inch. And it's pretty much OK. I maybe could have made it a bit looser on the hip, but it's actually fine. Um, so I'm really pleased with it. What I'm also pleased about is that the neckline I thought might be a bit more um, wide than this. So I thought it might, I might have bra strap trouble with it, but I don't at all. Um, so I'm really pleased with the neckline. It's um, quite interesting to sew in that it's got a facing on the inside. Um, so you sew the facing onto the bodice and then you tuck the facing under and top stitch round so that you've encapsulated the seam. And it actually gives a really nice finish. Uh, the other alternative is that you don't tuck the facing under and then you cover stitch round on the outside. Um, and I have got a cover stitch machine, but I'm not ashamed to say, frankly, I bottled it because I thought it might be quite scary cover stitching all the way around there. Um, because um, on a cover stitch, you, you, you cover to stitch on the top and you can't always see where, uh, you can't see where the underneath is. And I just 
didn't have the nerve to do it round the neckline because I thought if I get it wrong and then I have to unpick it, it's just going to be so exposed. And the one thing I will say about this fabric is that in places you can see little white patches where the needle's gone in. Um, so I just decided I didn't want to risk it. So I did the um, straight stitch um, option and I just actually sewed it from the inside edge and it was absolutely fine. So I'm really pleased with how that went in. Uh, and it's got, as you can see, it's got the drop shoulders. Um, and it, it does say in the description of the top, you know, it's something that you can use to um, really show off a bold print. And I think, I think it's absolutely true. And I'll just stand up for a second so you can see. But I took my time when I cut it out. I cut it out on a single layer. And you can see I managed to get telephones going straight down the middle of the fabric. And actually, in terms of um, making the pattern level, you can probably see it a bit better at that side. I think I got it about right. So it was really worth me taking my time cutting it out and not cutting it out on a double layer. Um, so in terms of fabric required, it reckons, so if you say a size eight with the long sleeve, which is what I made, you can also make a three quarters sleeve. Um, so if you assume the size eight, which is um, the biggest of the sizes I graded to, it takes um, 1.3 meters of um, fabric. And I certainly would say it didn't take any more than that. I did have three metres of this, and as you can see, I've got an awful lot left, which I don't mind at all, because I'm quite happy to make something else out of it. So um, really pleased that I've fallen back in love with this fabric, really happy with the make. Um, and so, yes, I, I, I really enjoyed it, and I'm really pleased to have got this made up. And I will probably make some of the other patterns I talked about. Um, I just didn't get a chance to do more than one entry. I know um, some people... I've seen some of the YouTube vlogs and I was watching Instagram on reveal day and, and some people have made a lot and that's great. And it's been really interesting seeing what everyone's made. So um, this is what I did. Um, and thank you to everybody who um, made suggestions as to what I would do, um, because I was really interested to see them. And as I say, I'll, I'm almost certain to do some of the others and I'll pop a link at the end to my original options video so you can see that if you're interested and you haven't had a chance to see it already. Um, so the other thing that happened this week was um, you might have seen if you've seen my previous video it was my um, So Yellow for Endo top um, which I made so I'll just pop a picture up there as a reminder and it was the Nina Lee Southbank top uh, that I made in a kind of leopard print fabric and um, the rules were very similar to the um, basic rules in terms of posting your make on Instagram. And this is the challenge run by Jess over at So What If I Sew. And um, the prizes are done as they are for So Frugal on a random generator. Um, and I was lucky enough to win a prize. So I was really chuffed because obviously, you know, it's not why you enter. Um, and, and the odds are you're not going to win anything, but I did. So um, I was really thrilled and I've already actually got my prize. So I thought I'd mention very quickly um, what I won. So I won two PDF patterns from um, a new to me pattern company, um, Tammy Handmade. Um, I know Jess has made um, some of her patterns before. And I think a lot of people made the Etty Camisole for um, So Frugal 22, which obviously is a free pattern. And I won um, the patterns for the Raj dress. Um, so I'll pop a pick up here, um, which is um, a slip on style dress, which you can make with or without sleeves. Um, and it's got a ruffle at the hem and then it's got kind of elastic in the sleeves. Um, and in terms of sizing, it starts at a size six, which is um, bust 31 inches, waist 24 inches and hips 34 inches. And it goes up to size 24, which is bust 49 inches, waist 42 inches and hips 52 inches. And it takes um, about three metres of fabric for sizes 6 to 16 if you want to make the um, version with sleeves. And for the sleeveless version, two and a half metres of fabric. For sizes 18 to 24, five metres of fabric for sleeves and four metres to make the sleeveless version. So um, that was the first pattern. 
And the second pattern I won is um, the Haley Robe sewing pattern. Um, and this is, um, it's essentially, yes, it's, it's what it says, it's a robe. So you can either make it out of a, a drapey fabric and have something that's kind of quite elegant. It says make it out of satin or silk. Um, or you can also do it in something thicker like a toweling or a French terry. Um, and it comes in two lengths, so you can have it really quite short or quite long if you want something warm and cosy. Um, and this is, um, it says a looser fit, so go by your bust measurement. So it comes in sizes 6, which is bust 31 inches, waist 24 inches. Goes all the way up to bust um, 49 inches and waist 42 inches at um, a size 24. Um, and again, I'll pop a picture in. Um, so yeah, um, so that was a really nice surprise. And, and um, Tammy was really great and um, contacted me yesterday and I sent her my email address and she's already emailed me the PDFs. So when I get round to making um, one or both of those, I shall share them with you, obviously. So um, that's all for this video, um, short and sweet, but I'm hoping to put up another video this weekend. I'm hoping I'll get this one up today, which is Saturday. Uh, 2nd of April and I'm hoping that I'll have another video up tomorrow where I'm going to share my um, plans for a, a sewing challenge which is taking place in April um, and so I'll be back with you very soon but until then um, thanks again to everybody who's liked, commented or um, subscribed to my channel really enjoy hearing from you so if you took part in so frugal 22 let me know what you made um, are you happy with it do you like wearing it um, what did you get out of um, the challenge I mean I've seen loads and loads of free patterns that I want to make now um, so I've got a to make list which is really really long uh, but it's always good to know about free patterns and I think I've learned an awful lot um, by watching um, all the videos the vlogs and seeing what everybody's made on Instagram. So until next time then, um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.